So we've done our research and we've come up with about seven questions. Now these seven questions are a little bit complex, so I'm going to probably reduce this to five central questions for our flowchart purposes. I've moved our flowchart diagramming software into a larger screen so that we can see everything that's happening. We are, of course, going to be putting our questions into our decision diamonds, and I have some in the scratch pad. I can also find those decision diamonds in the general, but I can also find them down here in flowchart. So they're found in a, a number of different places. All the scratch pad does is put them in a position that I can easily access. So I'm going to drag one out onto my screen. I have a document created with my questions in them, and um, that's where I'm going to drag them from. So I'm going to go to that document and I'm going to start with the first question that we had. I'm going to copy that. I can also press Control C. You saw that in my screen. And I'm going to come back to my decision. And when I double click my decision, it automatically selects the text in the middle. And this is where I'm going to paste in. Now, if I paste in at the moment, just generally. It's going to paste with the text functions and um, particulars from the document I've taken them from. So if I paste it in now, you'll notice that it's a little bit larger. If you look at the size here, it's 14.67. I'm going to select that text though and make it a bit smaller because I want it to fit into my diamond. I'm going to make that text around 10 points. It's still not fitting very well. So like the other thing I can do is also create and, and make my diamond look a little bit bigger. And the third thing I can do is change the um, paragraphing of the text. So I can press and enter here in the middle and I can force this text to look a bit different. So there's my decision diamond, my first decision diamond, my first question, does the zoo park look well cared for and clean? The interesting thing is now I have a size that I like. I've fit most of my text in there pretty easily. So I'm going to actually copy this and paste a second one. And when I paste, when you click paste here, it's going to actually paste it where my cursor is, so where my arrow is at any time. So I'm going to paste five of these. I know that my text here is still that first question and I'm going to take the remaining parts of my questions the main parts and you can see that I've got five questions sort of indented differently than the others so those are my five main questions that I'm going to use here's a second trick I'm going to show you so now that I have this text selected when I click on it with a right click I can paste it as plain text. You can also see that the, the, there are a series of keyboard shortcuts. I can use a cut, control X, a copy, a control C, a, a paste, if this is control V, and the paste is plain text, which is control shift V. Paste this in here as plain text, and notice that my question comes in um, in the text size I want it to. I'm just going to arrange it a little bit differently, and there's my second question done. We're going to use the magic of video, which is like a baking show where, you know, you have that thing already done. And we're going to finish up these questions off camera and come back and talk with you again in just a few seconds.